So this is actually a pretty interesting story because <clears throat> Iran just had its presidential election. And what ended up happening was a hardline Iranian cleric has won. Um, and the person who won, uh, Ibrahim Raisi, he is actually closely tied to the supreme leader, uh, Khamenei. And so basically what the truth about Iran's elections and their politics and stuff is uh, this election isn't real really in any way. None of Iran's elections really are real in any way, and that's multifaceted. First of all, the president doesn't really have any powers anyways, so it's already kind of a farce to basically try to front that there's some kind of democracy going on when in reality the president can't do shit anyways. Um, it's really the supreme leader, uh, Khamenei, who really has all of the power to do whatever he wants. And the thing that makes uh, Iran so uh, very not democratic is they have this guardian council, which has a certain amount of members. I forget if it's like 12 or something like that, um, that can literally deem, I think, not only entire parties, but it can basically uh, disbar, it can bar candidates from running. So they get to choose who gets to run. So it's the biggest joke of all time, right? This is not a real... There's no real elections going on because they're taking out candidates that they don't like. And then the president itself doesn't have any power anyways. So it's entirely irrelevant. But it appears that this president is one who is uh, pretty close to, uh, you know, Khamenei. And I believe that I did read some stuff about how, you know, maybe he's looking for this guy to be a successor. The guy's obviously getting very old. Um... It says, Ibrahim Raisi, Iran's judiciary chief, won 17.8 million votes, according to the Associated Press, which noted that voter turnout Saturday appeared to be the lowest in the Islamic Republic's history. Yes, it was the lowest because they knew the election was a scam and it was total bullshit. Um, it says, comparatively, initial results showed former Revolutionary Guard Commander Mohsen Rizai with 3.3 million votes, moderate Abul Nasir Hamati winning 2.4 million, and Amir Hossein Ghazizadeh, Hashemi was 1 million, according to the AP. Um, Hameti and Rizai uh, congratulated their opponents Saturday with Hameti writing on Instagram, I hope your administration provides cause for pride for the Islamic Republic of Iran. Improves the economy and life with comfort and welfare for the great nation of Iran. So, um, you know, there was just a bunch of, it explains how there were a bunch of candidates who were rejected. Even Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, I guess, was uh, rejected, who was a previous president. Uh, it was rejected by the Iran's Guardian Council. So, you know, it's essentially a complete scam. Their elections are a joke. But what I find interesting about Iran is I think Iran is in this very weird position. And I think that the U.S.'s policy of being so anti-Iran and so, like, painting Iran as the enemy of, uh, of the United States and this kind of stuff, it's really a big, uh, it's a really stupid, stupid idea. I'm not really sure why it's done. Maybe because it's a Republican thing that they can do for easy points with their voters? I'm not sure. But this is a really dumb uh, idea because I think that there's a lot of opportunity. You know, I look at Iran similar to the way Japan was after World War II and how that ended up becoming a big ally for the United States. Iran definitely has a good amount of fertile ground for democracy, like a real liberal democracy. It really does have a little bit of fertile ground going there. Um, and I do think that if the United States were to be more friendly towards Iran and push it in that direction the same way that the U.S. did with Japan after World War II, um, I definitely think it could be altered because Iranians um, are not as uh, anywhere near really as extreme as most people think. Um, it's just this weird facade that their politicians put up as well as, uh, you know, the U.S. is obviously constantly making them the enemy of everything and that doesn't help. That's not going to help the situation. Um, so I think there's a lot of opportunity here, but what's going on right now is obviously this is a complete sham. Uh, the truth is the Supreme Leader, you know, Khamenei, he has all the power in the world. He gets to determine most of the people who are even on the Guardian Council in the first place. Typical of leaders in, in systems with the Politburo anyways. Um, you know, I think we're seeing that uh, with Xi right now in China, where he pretty much has, I think, I think he's just exiled anybody who's not loyal to him in the Politburo. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what's going on here. But I do think that Iran has a lot of potential to turn into another liberal democracy. Um, but the way that the U.S. is going about their relations with it is just completely fucking stupid.